Miami Civilian Investigative Panel serves the public and police by providing fair and impartial assessments regarding concerns about sworn police officers. The CIP provides a truthful judgment of issues and complaints and provides a comfortable environment to express grievances, concerns, and solutions. The facts are assessed by community members in order to reflect the values of the community and improve understanding and public safety. How are you guys doing? Hi, how are you? Am, am, am Thank you for speak? joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, Rafael Gomez, 7403 Southwest 82nd Street, Miami, Florida. Um, I received two letters in the mail. I filed two complaints on two officers. Uh, one officer pulled me over on 50th uh, Avenue and 7th Street, Northwest. Very disrespectful, short little cop, very rude, very arrogant, very discourteous. I want to thank you guys for reviewing the case and you sustained the complaint for discourtesy. I want to appreciate you guys for that. Thank and you. I filed another complaint on another officer, also for discourtesy, who told me to F myself at the police department at headquarters. And you guys also reviewed the case and sustained it. I want to thank you guys. Um, but I also have a concern that when you guys file um, your report, I think it goes to the chief, and then the chief has to make a determination. I just wish you guys had more power over the process. Um, I just want to thank you guys for reviewing my case. And I appreciate you guys. I'll be filing more complaints because we got a dirty department. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Joey we caught a cop that was sleeping, and you guys reviewed it, and I want to thank you guys for reviewing that case. Also, It was also sustained. Okay, thank you. Thank you for being here. Do we have anyone else from the public that would like to speak at this time? If we can uh, refer to the second case on the agenda, Joel Lopez, since the complainant is here today. It's CIP 23-151. Joel Lopez. The allegation is against Alberto Rodriguez, um, an allegation of improper procedure. Uh, Mr. Lopez uh, found Officer Rodriguez sleeping inside his unmarked uh, vehicle while working an extra duty job at Magic City Casino. And Mr. Lopez is here to make a comment. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? You guys already know I'm the complainant for the Officer Rodriguez case, sleeping in a casino in the parking lot with a pillow. And I just want to thank you guys for doing your, your, your work on your side. And um, I would like to know, I don't know if I can find out here, what was that recommendation for that? You guys gave a recommendation to the chief? Well, this, you'll is hear it. Time, this is my first you'll time. You'll hear it now. So we're going to talk about the case, and okay. we'll go ahead and, and um, have whatever comments between the panel, and then we'll vote on it, and you'll hear it right here. Cool. Okay. I just want to say another thing, too. When I, um, I just thought it was a little messed up um, after Rodriguez pulled away from me. And he went to the front of the casino. They investigated this situation to internal affairs. But as I was telling the sergeant what happened, and I was recording it, and the sergeant trespassed me from a private property immediately just because I was telling him about Rodriguez. I thought that was kind of messed up. But I just want to let you guys know that. And I appreciate what you guys are doing on this case. And I'm the one that caught him sleeping on the job. It's what I do. I hold my government accountable, you know, show transparency within our government. And this is what I do. I record police interactions, government officials, and that's all it is. But thank you very, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Okay, Vivian. Yes. So as we um, provided you guys a TikTok video that Mr. Lopez uploaded showing the officer sleeping inside his vehicle um, in terms of an allegation of improper procedure for sleeping while on duty, uh, staff recommends sustaining. Um, there's also an additional allegation of improper procedure for Officer Rodriguez failing to capture the interaction on his, on his BWC. So he never uh, activated his BWC. The only BWC we have is from Sergeant Roque, who is a sergeant who took the complaint from Mr. Lopez on the scene. Good evening. The next case will be D, be D4 on your tablet. Um, the complaint was the city of Miami. The officers involved were Sergeant uh, Workman Napoleon and Officer Jonathan Lavinia. And the allegation was improper procedure. Um, the story goes that Officer Lavinia was uh, searching for a battery suspect when he saw a possible grow house uh, in one of the apartments. He, uh, <laughs> he, he, he notified Sergeant Napoleon of, of, the, of the grow house. Sergeant Napoleon told him to report it um, the next day. Uh, he didn't feel right about it, he said, and he, in his statement he said he didn't feel right about it, so he reported it to a um, narcotics detective that night. Um, they ultimately uh, ended up getting a search warrant for the, for the apartment, at which time the grow house was no longer there. It had been broken down. 
Um, they just found uh, twigs and sticks in the backyard of the, of the residents. Uh, <clears throat> so staff recommendations. Officer Lavinia observed the grow house in the apartment while on a call for service. He told Sergeant Napoleon about the grow house and was told to call SIS or narcotics unit the next day. In his statement, Sergeant Napoleon stated that there was no mention of a kilo quantity, uh, so he didn't feel it met the criteria for an immediate call out of the narcotics unit. Sergeant Napoleon did not enter the department to see the, the grow house. Uh, so based on that, staff is recommending the allegation of improper procedure against Sergeant Napoleon be closed as sustained. Uh, BWC footage shows Officer Lavernia muted his BWC to speak to the sergeant. And at the conclusion of the conversation, he spoke with another subject who was being detained while the BWC was still on mute. Uh, based on that, staff recommends that allegation against officer, allegation of improper procedure against Officer Lavernia be uh, closed as sustained. Next case, D5 on your tablets. Uh, the complainant was Jessica Rodriguez. The two officers involved were Christian Burke and Abraham Rodriguez. The allegations were in proper procedure. Officers Rodriguez and Burke responded to a suspicious vehicle call. Uh, Ms. Rodriguez called at 4 a.m. At 4 a.m., um, a vehicle parked outside her house. The officers responded and made contact with the suspicious vehicle. Um, Officer Rodriguez spoke to the occupants of the vehicle in Spanish. Uh, the, the, the occupants told him that they were waiting for an address to attend a party um, and they were allowed to drive away. At no time did they ask for any identification, at no time did they do any vehicle checks, uh, warrants checks, nothing of the subjects. Um, basically there was no investigation at all. So uh, staff recommendations, the BWC footage shows officers Rodriguez and Burke responded to the call of a suspicious vehicle. Officer Rodriguez spoke to the driver of the suspicious vehicle in Spanish. Officer Burke arrived and stood by during the conversation but he, because he does not speak Spanish. The vehicle was allowed to leave without ever speaking to the driver or having the driver identify himself or running the tag. So staff is recommending that the allegation of improper procedure be closed as sustained uh, because there was no investigation. Uh, the BWC footage shows Officer Burke's assigned uh, BWC recording the interior of his car during this incident. Uh, he admits that he left it on his vest while he was uh, uh, on this call. So staff is recommending that allegation of improper procedure be closed as sustained. How you doing? Yeah. Nothing's going on. You guys rush over here. I'm just taking a, getting a stamp. I'm recording and they're having a meltdown. That's it. You're getting a stamp? That's what? it. What do you mean for what? What's up, Dustin? Dustin, tell them what's up. They called you guys for recording in public. What's your name and badge number? Officer Collins, 408. What's your name and badge Officer number? 447. What's your name and badge Officer number? Officer 446. You know this, this is a federal building? Right. Oh, you know I'm allowed to film here, right? In Nobody public? said you're not to film. Oh, I'm just letting you know. You guys are rushing like you're intimidating me. It's not going to happen. We're not intimidating you. It looks like it. I'm not going outside. I'm not going outside. Tell them what's up. I want my stamp. Huh? You have an ID. Are you serious? Nah, did I commit a crime? I have an ID. I just want to identify yourself. I, I have an ID. Okay, let okay. me see your ID. I'm not, let me see your ID. Let me see your, let me see your ID. ID. I don't got to identify nothing. Listen, I come with no ill will. I'm not giving you ID. Okay. I don't care what you do. If you want to take me in right now, let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Right. You want to do it? Yes. Okay. You're going to arrest for a seating. Do not run. For a seating. Actually, the guy is right there that's just walking up right now. So I'm the captain. I didn't know he was going to be pulling up while we were talking, so if you want to give him a few minutes and then I'll talk to you. Oh, no. He's coming right in. Okay. Um, You're going to wait for him, Joe? Oh, yeah, he's right here. How's it going, brother? How's hey, everything? What's up, bud? Um, he wants to file a complaint. You just happen to walk in when. Uh, oh, that's fine, of course. Uh, you need a pen and paper, real quick? He um, wants to make it verbal. He doesn't want to. You don't want to write anything down? I want to make it verbal on camera. You want to make a verbal on camera? Okay. You want to go inside? Can we? I can't record in there. You cannot record in there. Yeah, I can't do it. All right, give me a second. Just give me a few minutes. Okay? Take that for you? No, Thank no. you, Captain. Thank hey, you. no problem, man. Thank you, bro. Um, that should be for the cup of beer, too. I'll, Thank I'll, you. I'll give you a reply, all right? Appreciate it. Yeah, man, what's up? I can't record it in there. Huh? That's the private part of the station. This is the public area. Okay. That's not public I just told him I wanted to record it. And he's trying to get me into the private area that I can't record. Well, no, he just invited you if you wanted to go sit well, down. I told him sit I down. I can record it. Right. But okay. He's inviting you to come and sit down. That's a little bit easier. It's all right. I can do it. Right. Wherever I can record, I can do yeah, it. Yeah, no, this is fine right That's here. Fine. All right. All right. All right.
Take care. Oh, uh, Joey? Okay. That's, a, that's a Joey way. Joey one. You have a last name? Yeah, but I'm not gonna give it. Okay, tell me what happened. What's your oh, company? Um, Officer uh, Castellano. Officer Castellano. 447, badge number. Mm -hmm. Responded to a call at the post office for me recording. Yeah. Trying to buy a stamp. Mm -hmm. She came directly to me mm -hmm. and immediately asked me what I was doing. Mm -hmm. And I told her what I was doing. Right. So immediately she asked me for my ID. She didn't have you no know, RAS, which is reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime for me to give ID in, in Florida. So I didn't get my ID. Mm -hmm. And I told her, look, man, um, I'm not giving you my ID unless I commit a crime. I'm not committing a crime. You guys aren't even investigating what's going on. She came direct, direct up to me, very unprofessional. And I go, look, I'm not giving you ID. You guys gotta do what you gotta do if you wanna make that mistake. And she went ahead and put the handcuffs on me mm -hmm. and arrested me. Okay. What's your contact number? I can give you my email. Okay, what's your email? Joey Fresh. Joey Fresh? 525. 525. At Gmail. I got it all on camera. Well, you have what on all on camera? All on, all on film. Okay. Can you give that to me? Right now? Well, you want to show, see it right now? I'll give you my email. You want me to send it or I'm going to show, it. You show can it, send it to me right now? I can do whatever you want. You can send it to me. I'll send you the video? Send me the video. Absolutely. Okay, let me give you my email. And I really want you guys to stay on top of this because I'm going to stay on top of this to the, I'm going to take this all the way to the end. Okay, because that was that was very wrong what she did, very unprofessional, and she just immediately put the handcuffs on me within a minute and took me to jail for resi resisting arrest, but for not ID. That was the that was the charge for that for not ID. Okay. Was resisting arrest. That's the biggest bogus I've ever heard. And number two, she said I was disorderly. Number one, she didn't even do no investigation. She put me in handcuffs right away. I was in disorderly at the post office. I have everything on film from scratch to beginning. Okay. So. Just to just about to let you know what's going on, so you be aware. And I'm keeping, and she has to be held accountable for that. And I'm still thinking of filing the complaints on the other three officers that were there that let that happen. Okay. So I'm right now. I'm just focused on her right now. All right. Okay. Um, anything else? No. It was a first. It. it was a First Amendment violation. Yeah. She she claimed that because he was recording, it was disorderly. Just because I was recording, and she asked me for my ID immediately. Right. What do you need my ID for? You know, I'm not giving you no ID. Unless you could, if you suspect, suspect me of a crime, I'll give you ID. Okay. Do what you gotta do. She goes, okay. And she got, took the handcuffs okay. and arrested me. And gave me, and charged me with two misdemeanors. Resisting arrest and disorderly. Okay. Have you been contacted by the city attorney? No. Nothing, I'm contacted? Not yet, I have court actually this Thursday for it, in two days. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm taking this all the way because that was very unprofessional, wrong of her. And her demeanor was not cool, not professional. Like I said, the video explains it all, bro. Okay. You know, do you want the, the YouTube video link or do you want the, the raw footage? I don't need the, the raw footage. Link. I need the raw footage. The raw footage, yeah. I got you. Just okay. asking. Cool. Cool. Anything absolutely. Else? Yeah, basically, okay. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. What was okay. your name again? Sergeant Bartram. Joey. Thank you. Okay, okay. Joey. All right. Nice to meet you. Thank, thank you, you Sergeant. Right. Absolutely. Not all right. Well. Thank you. You're general affairs for this. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Thank you. Cool. Take it easy, bro. All right.